Now let's look at one of the main things you're going to want to do when you first get your Hiax Chess Explorer. That's playing a game against the computer. And it's very simple to do this. All you need to do is go up to the Play menu and click on New Game. That brings up the Play Game dialog. You get to enter your name, which is already entered for me because I'm, it's registered to me. And you can set it to play a rated game. My ranking is currently 1600. Or you can uncheck that if you don't want a rated game. Here's your list of opponents, the engines that are loaded onto your computer, currently HiOx 14 and Deep HiOx 14. And you can set the engine to either play at its maximum strength to match your strength, which would be around that, or you can set it to a custom strength uh, just by moving up and down on the arrows or set it to any value you like. Um, you can set the computer engine to play uh, to think on the player's time, which will make the engine um, substantially stronger. And you can set the time control time per game, time per game with increment, or even time per given moves. Anything you like, just that would give you a five minute game. Uh, you can up and down, you can change that up and down as you like. Uh, give the human player extra time if you like, because obviously they have to enter the moves. And if you're ready to go, if you do want to play, if you're not sure what uh, side you want to play, play random. Or you can start with white or black. And if you're ready to go, just click OK. So that starts the game. Um, I'll show you one other feature of that. Uh, now you can play through the moves, but there's a nice thing here with the the coach is um, the coach feature is enabled at the moment. So I'm going to play through some moves, and um, that's automatically moved the bishop to there, which I didn't particularly want to do. But what I'm going to try and do here is just play uh, a few bad moves, and I'll show you the reason why. Because once you've got the coach loaded up, which is this button here. Um, then when he's loaded up he'll actually come on and give you suggestions if he thinks you've made a particularly bad move. Um, so what could we do here? There we go. The coach thinks your move is a mistake. Do you want to take it back? And you get the options to either show why it's a bad mistake, show the refutation, take back the move or ignore the coach completely. Anyway, so uh, once you've finished playing that game, obviously the game will come to an end, but um, you can choose to abandon if you don't want to play. You can save as anything, or even choose not to save if you don't want to. Uh, just for now, I will uh, click on save. And um, what I've got here is obviously a game that's halfway through. I've been looking through this game, the Vladimir Kramnik versus Alexander Belyavsky game. And the reason I've got that open because there's one other option that I didn't look at, and this one here, the non-standard starting position. So if you check this box, you get a few different options. You can um, choose to start from the current position, so if you've been playing through a game and you'd like to see how you would play that position, you can then just tick this box and then click OK and you'll start playing against the computer engine from that position. Or we can choose a variety of different openings. For instance, there we've got the Italian game, but there's a huge uh, list of games, a list of openings that we can use. So for instance, let's choose the Danish Gambit. Click OK and you'll see that the moves are played on the board and the engine, because it's Black's turn to move, so the engine has played their move. So there you go, there you can see that's just how easy it is to play through and uh, start playing a game against the computer using the brand new Hiarx Chess Explorer.